think we just gotta do it. I'm terrified. Oh, it looks so scary, it's so big. It should work though. All right, let's get it. In the last video, we put the first tire tracks on the new hip jump that has been months in the making. It felt great to ride and I'm excited to finally move on. In today's episode, I'll begin work on framing the sharp right corner after the landing with logs and then make the big step up on Crazy Train even bigger. Let's start by moving all the logs from the tree we cut up to where the new berm will be. Unfortunately, some of the bigger logs that I just can't move are not going to be able to go over there even though they would be great and we would need a lot less dirt. They just have to stay here. I'm actually using the drone for this part to uh, eyeball where the log should go, just because I think an overhead view of a corner might actually be pretty helpful. Guys, I feel horrible. I haven't done this in so many months. I lifted one log, I was dead. So I think I'm gonna take a break and just play it safe. There's still a lot of work to do on the line. So yeah, that is exhausting carrying all of these logs. Although it was very difficult for my out of shape self to move everything, I did get it done all in one day. And there's a lot of framework for the corner now. However, another one of my backyard trails has a slightly bigger problem than continuing this line. This landing that was perfect just a few months ago has collapsed. Normally, I would wait to fix this, but the weather window is becoming a pretty big problem. The early start to summer has brought us three weeks without rain in May, and this needs to get done before all the dirt just turns to dust. This is especially important with how much taller I want to make the landing. Before we stack it taller though, the sides need to be wider. The first day got pretty hot and dry, so I came back out the next day to continue with my progress. Okay, so two things. 
First thing is that we've got a good amount of dirt on this landing. It's getting a lot wider. But the second thing is that I'm gonna actually move this. Having tested that new lip just a few days ago, I know that we're going a lot farther than we were before. Feels great, I definitely don't wanna change it. We're gonna bring the landing out a little bit and we're also gonna bring it up. So a lot of this dirt is really only thrown on this side because it's the closest to the pit. The dirt over on this side is nowhere near as good. So we're just gonna have to throw it right here for now and we'll shovel it and spread it all around tomorrow. With more dirt on the side of the landing, I could now start moving the entire landing out to match the distance the lip throws you. We want this jump to be no pedals and no brakes, and since I love how the lip currently feels, moving the landing will be the easier task, plus it needed a reshape anyway. This is looking a lot better, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Hold on, this guy's a big one. Oh, he is stubborn too. He's carving like pieces out of it. Get under a little deeper. Like if you get the flat end, yeah, yeah. If you get that under a little deeper, oh, it's I see it's hitting that. Just like little, little. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah, now you can get even deeper. It's just weird to grab, probably. No, yeah, it's like fine. It's probably like 100 pounds, something like that. The new pit was filled with the biggest rocks I've ever dug out of this trail system, and it took a long time. Once the rocks were out though, we were able to get a great mixture of clay and sand again. With rain in the forecast, the dirt on the landing was good, but if I wanted a nice surface, I needed a wheelbarrow and some arm strength to move dirt from the best spot on the property.
This was an improvement, but still not exactly what I had in mind. I want this landing to be in perfect shape going into the summer months with long periods of no rain, so there's only one option. Yup, that's right. This landing is going to get a healthy load of sifted hero dirt on top. Let's hit it with one more satisfying build lapse. All the sifted wheelbarrows can now be spread around to make this landing more stable and make it look really smooth. Much better. I spent 5 days throwing more dirt on this landing and it's super cool to see the work pay off. I did want to try one trick with the lip though, and it's a tactic I heard about from the builders at Duthy Hill Mountain Bike Park. By using a mix of half a gallon of Elmer's glue and water, you can make a lip harden for summer much better. All you have to do is fill it all in a 5 gallon bucket. The idea is that the glue is going to dry and harden the dirt, and with no rain in the summer, it'll keep a good riding surface. I applied this mixture to the takeoff, and I'll let you know how it held up next time. That's it for today, and thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.